Hi, welcome back. I'm Mr. Peck here. Today we are going to learn about two-dimensional collisions. Here's the questions. A 800 gram ball at 30 cm per second collides obliquely with a 500 gram ball moving at 50 cm per second in opposite direction. After the collision, the velocity of the 800 gram ball is 15 cm per second at 30 degree to its initial direction. What is the velocity of the 500 gram ball? Okay, so let us highlight the information. Uh, we have the mass of the first ball, the 800 gram we denote as 1. And we have also the initial velocity collides obliquely. Uh, the word oblique, collides oblique, oblique collision means two-dimension collision. Okay, two-dimension collision. But if the collision is head-on, head-on collision, is, it, it is a one-dimensional collision. Okay, one-dimensional collision. So the word oblique means two-dimension. We also have the mass of the second ball, okay, denote as the, fi the 500 gram, denote as 2, and the initial velocity for the second ball in opposite direction. It's very important. Opposite direction means you need to put negative sign to velocity. After the collision, the velocity of the 800 gram ball is 15 cm per second. So after collision, we have the final velocity and also the direction 30 degree. What is the velocity of the 500 gram ball? So we want to find the final velocity of the second ball. Okay, so for velocity is a vector. For vector, you need to give two things. You need to find the magnitude. You need to find the direction. For vector, you must give magnitude and direction both. Okay, if without direction, you lose one marks. Right? Good. Now, let us continue. So, I have uh, illustrated uh, the situation here, the ball 1, uh, all the masses given, ma uh, ball 1, ball 2, the masses I changed to kilogram, from gram change to kilogram, divided by 1000, and the velocity also from cm per second, I changed to meter per second. And the important thing, uh, the just like he said, the 500 gram ball is moving in opposite direction. So, when opposite direction, the initial velocity of the ball 2, you need to put negative sign. Opposite direction means to the left. You must put a negative sign. Okay. For the ball 1, is moving to the right, so it's positive. Okay. Uh, after the collision, uh, given the final velocity and also the direction, so I have uh, written down here, after collide, the ball 1 has the final velocity uh, uh, 0 0.15 meter per second and 30 degree to this initial direction. So this is the direction. So find the velocity of ball 2. So I don't know what happened to ball 2. Let's find out. Okay. So how to do these questions? We always, for collision, we always use conservation of linear momentum. Pr principle of conservation of linear momentum. Because no matter it's elastic or inelastic collision, the momentum is always conserved. Okay, so we can use the conservation of momentum. So since here has degree thirty degree, uh, and also he says it's oblique collision means this is two dimension collision. And for vector, for vector, when you have two dimension, you need to break into x and y components. Right? You need to break into x and y components. So I separate into two parts, x component and y component. So conservation of momentum applies. So, but you don't write like that, yeah? M1, U1, M2, U2, don't write like that. You must uh, include the components. This one is x component, so this U1x, U2x, V1x, V2x. Uh, same thing to the y component, V1y, v U2y, V1y, V2. Why? Uh, just add on the components. So let us uh, look at x component. All right, for x component. So let's look. Uh, bef this is before collision and this is after collision. Okay. So before collision, uh, we have all we have the um, yeah the velocity is x component. Uh, velocity is x component. So we can write it down. 
all, all the information. All right, let's continue. So mass one, we have the 0 0.8 U1X. Uh, this one is in X component, uh, 0 0.3 uh, plus mass two. Mass two is 0 0.5. And U2X, uh, U2X is uh, to the left, it's going to the left, so it's negative because it said opposite direction. You must remember, must put a negative sign. Don't forget your negative sign. Many students forget the negative sign and they got it wrong. Right? Uh, this is before collision. Equals to, after collision, we have uh, the all one, 0 0.8. And uh, for S component, okay, so you see this one can be resolved into two components. Can be resolved into two components. The, um, we have, uh, this one is 0 0.15 cos 30 and this one is 0 0.15 sine 30. Okay, uh, so now let us continue. So we have, for S component, V1X, uh, 0 0.15, just write it down, 0 0.15 cos 30, okay? Uh, and then plus the mass 2 is, uh, we have 0 0.5, uh, but we don't have the V2X, so we want to find V2X, okay? Uh, so calculate, I got V2X equal to, after calculation, I got V2X equal to negative, 0 0.2278. Uh, put four decimal place so that more accurate. Okay. Uh, put four decimal place so that more accurate. Now this one is go negative. Negative means it's going to the left. Okay. Going negative going to the left. Now check the y component. Check the y component. So before collision, let's look before collision. Is there any y component for velocity? No, all this velocity is only in x component. So no y component. The velocity in y component is zero. So we can say momentum in y component is, uh, is what is zero? Uh, is zero because no y component. Uh, u1 y, u2 y, all zero. So multiply also get zero. Okay, let's continue. So what? Happen after collision. After collision, uh, we have v1y, uh, 0 0.15 sine 30, uh, going up. So it's going up, so it's positive. Yeah, it's going up, so it's positive. So let us write it down. We have uh, okay, the mass uh, ball one is 0 0.18. Eh, no, no, 0 0.8. Okay, so it's 0 0.8, uh, and then we uh, zero is going up. Yeah, the y component is going up, so positive, 0 0.15 sine 30, 0 0.15 sine 30, and uh, plus the mass 2 is uh, 0 0.5 kilogram, 0 0.5. We want to find V2Y, uh, so we can find V2Y. So we got the answer, V2Y is equal to negative, going down. 0 0.12 meter per second okay so good so now we have the we have the final velocity for ball 2 the x component and y component so that means now um, we know that for x component is going to the left because negative and for the y component is uh, negative also so it's going down Huh? Y component is negative going down. So that means the ball 2, the ball 2 is the uh, going to the left, going downwards. Uh, okay, going left, going downwards. So we have the, uh, this is the V2X, uh, which is negative, And this is V2Y, which is also negative. So the, this is the resultant. Ah, this is the resultant. This is the V2 which we want to find. And we need to find this angle, theta, uh, below negative x axis. Uh, okay, so how to find the V2? Uh, very simple, the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so let us find it out. Uh, V2, the 
magnitude. Modulus means magnitude. We uh, uh, square and square, square plus square. The V2x square plus V2y square. Okay. Substitute all the information. We have negative 0 0.2278 square plus the V2y negative 0 0.12 square. So after more uh, square root, we got 0 0.26 meter per second. That is the uh, that is the uh, velocity 2. We got the magnitude. Now we want to find the direction. Uh, direction use tangent theta. Tangent theta equal to uh, uh, sorry. Tangent theta is V2y over V2x. Okay, uh, modulus, we want to uh, remove the negative sign. So, uh, the V2y is negative 0 0.12, negative uh, V2x is negative 0 0.2278. So, the negative uh, is removed because got modulus. So, inverse tangent, we got 27.78 degree below. Uh, below negative x axis. Uh, that's the direction of velocity 2. Okay? Uh, that's theta. Uh, below is below negative. Sorry. Below the negative x axis. Okay? So, this, this is velocity 2. We already got the magnitude and direction. Alright? So, that's it for, for the two-dimensional collision. We must always do uh, X and Y component resolve into components and don't forget if you have negative sign moving in opposite direction you must put negative uh, and then we resolve the vector cos theta sin theta and then we combine again find the magnitude yeah use the Pythagoras theorem and find the direction using tangent theta so that's it for the uh, two-dimensional collision I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe and like bye